indeed. Of course, there is one other candidate that we do need to speak to. Green issues, I'm sure, are a big issue for her. Let's speak to uh, Hilary Myers. She is the Lib Dem candidate here in Calder Valley. Thanks for joining us this morning on our budget programme. What do you want to hear from the Chancellor? I want to hear that she's got a credible plan for tackling the deficit. We're in the worst economic crisis since the 1930s. Lots of poor families have been hit. I want to hear about fairness, principally. And I want to hear that we're going to invest in green infrastructure. On the, on the fairness side, we, we, we've seen greater inequality in this country under this government uh, than ever before, with about a fifth of the poorest families um, paying a greater proportion of their income in tax than the, than the wealthy, wealthiest fifth. And we, that's, that's what we want to change. That's what Vince Cable has set out clear plans for us to change. And what we'll do is... What I'd like to, see the, to answer your question, what I'd like to see the, uh, the Chancellor do today is to say, let's reduce the tax burden on the, on the least well-off. We would say we've, we've got costed plans to take about three and a half million people out of tax altogether. If you increase the tax allowance, as we propose to do, to £10,000, that would save the average couple working £1,400 a year. Catch you again a bit later on for Nanda Myers. Thanks very much indeed. So that's a, a quick taster of what the candidates are thinking so far. Come with me this way. We've also got uh, quite a lot of uh, analysis for you as, as far as crunching the figures are concerned. The people, oh, the sun's coming out. That's fantastic. I don't know if that's a good omen for the Chancellor or not. But uh, certainly the people here in Calder Valley want to have some good news from the Chancellor today. Not sure if he's going to be able to give it to them or not. We're going to monitor it for you throughout the day, Dermot. We certainly will. Kay, thank you very much indeed. Yeah. She is representing the Liberal Democrats in the coming election, uh, really expecting that to be about the 6th of May. Just let the lady go past with the pram. There we go. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> Not at all. Hi, Hilary. We were just talking uh, to the Conservative candidate there, as you saw. Should we walk as we chat? Um, he was very confident that this was going to be uh, their seat. You don't really have a fighting chance, but nevertheless, you can influence voters here. What did you think about the budget today, and how do you think that might influence voters in this constituency? Well, clearly the Chancellor's been reading Liberal, De <coughs> Liberal Democrat policy on the, uh, with his announcement of his infrastructure bank. But he doesn't go far enough to address, to tackle the issues either of the environment or of unemployment. And I think the voters in this constituency, especially around here, there's a lot of interest in the, in the environmental issues. Really, that, we need something that's, you know, according to our plans, that will go further. One thing we could do would be to insulate all the homes in, in, the, in the area, in the nation, and that would take, that would provide jobs and it would take a lot of, uh, uh, it would reduce carbon emissions. Right, okay, so a green budget would have been a But budget. I don't think, well, and the other thing is, I was talking to you earlier, we were really looking for, to close the inequality gap. And I don't think this budget's gone nearly far enough. Okay. Basically, he's, uh, he hasn't taken people on £10,000 a year or less out of, out of income tax altogether. By the government's own measure, people earning less than £10,000 a year are in poverty, and to tax them, I think, is morally wrong. I'm going to have to leave it there, because I've got to go and chat to Steph Booth to see what she has to say. Okay. She's the Labour candidate, okay. but thank you very okay. much indeed. Yeah. Steph Booth.